here I'm going to use primrose to plot distance trunk grass for me. So I have set up a ruler and uh, plotted out the distances and I'm sending Prim along the line so that we can plot out a distance time graph of her travels. You can see that she starts off at zero, spends a bit of time there, moves up to 50, then 100, and 150, spends a bit of time at 150, 200, 250, and then up to 300 quite quickly. So here is Prim and here's the graph we're going to be drawing. I haven't put time along the bottom because I haven't timed this exactly. I'm just going to sketch the graph to show you what it looks like. So we start off at zero and then we move up constantly to 150. We spend a bit of time stationary at 150 and then we move up a bit faster to 350. So when we are going up like this, we are going at a steady speed. When we are flatline, we are stationary. And then this line up here is also at a steady speed. So here is our next one. Here's the next graph we're going to be drawing. And here we just have Brim moving in a steady line the entire time, no change in speed. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you will get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date, you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order, you can visit my website, primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections, down below, please.